In our last video, we got engaged while we were home for the holidays, and then we flew back to LAX in order to prepare Tina for Mexico. Join us as we attempt to cross the border and get that much closer to our travel goal of Canada to Cabo, Mexico. You ready? Baja, it's morning. Baja, baby. Okay, so we're at the Mexican border now. We have all of our paperwork. So you need Mexican auto insurance, your passport, and then immigration papers that cost around $35. So we print out these, which is our FMM, which is the tourist cards, but you also need to print out the receipt. So we went there into the office and she's like, she won't take it because we don't have the receipt of payment. So essentially we have to like, we've already paid for it, but we either have to print out the receipt, which we don't have any, there's no email or anything with the receipt. Which is fine, I mean it's $30 USD each. Yeah, so we have to get, long story short, we have to get pesos and come back to this office. It wouldn't be a border crossing without a little shenanigans, but really wasn't that difficult. Now we're in Mexico, baby. We got a long drive. We're looking. Mexico, Mexico. So now that we made it to Mexico, we have a five hour drive down south to our campsite. We made it to our first stop and it is gorgeous. We have this whole place to ourselves and it was only five dollars. It's already about 4.30, so it'll get dark pretty soon. And then tomorrow morning, we're going to leave pretty early because we have another six hour drive. First thoughts, day one, Mexico. We went through the Mexicali border down essentially the Cortez, Sierra Cortez side, which is like the east side of the Baja Peninsula. And there were not many people. We'll see if it's like that all the way, but I'm assuming it's just like this up here during this time because it is a little bit colder weather and most people are probably farther south. <laughs> oh my gosh, we need a dog. We need a dog. <laughs> Good morning, have the best night's sleep. It's 8 a.m. so we're gonna hit the road and find our next spot. Let's rock baby, day two. That's you. We made it six hours south to the town of Mulahe, and this is our spot for the next week. They have Wi Fi, bathrooms, and showers, and lots of palm trees. Good our neighbors made you breakfast. Sausage on my lap. <laughs> Call me big bucks. Big bed, big bucks. I think we're done. Says, thank you for the breakfast. No problem. You have to say hi to Vinny every morning or he goes crazy. <laughs> Tamale? What'd you get, Shayna? Got some Abaga small scallops and then two tamale. Yum. So previously we were having issues with the Max Air Fan. I gave them a call about a month ago. They sent the parts that we needed, which was the control board and the extra motor. They sent that over. They think it's just gonna be the control board, but I'm gonna take this apart, put the control board in, see if that fixes the problem and starts this boy. If it doesn't, then we're gonna have to test the extra motor, but I'm hoping it's not the case. All right, I got the fan back on. Now it's my chance to see if I did a good job. I'm gonna put the power back on, give it a go. Moment of truth. Let's go. Got a working fan, man. 
got a working fan. Big moves, big moves. So today we're checking out the town and we need some groceries, so we're gonna go grocery shop. So many, so many. <laughs> they have chicken legs, which is pierna de pollo, but we need pechuga de pollo, chicken breast. <laughs> like I have chicken breast, but Lisa's mad because I didn't get enough chicken breast. It's one breast. <laughs> Got breast. <laughs> okay, good try. I need mean, cinco mas. I've been eating tortillas for at least one meal a day for the past year. You could say I'm pretty acquainted with the tortilla. So often they're breaking on me, and I'm fed up. The thickness, the taste, all mediocre. In the local tienda, I picked up a pack, slapped one down, put the fillings on it, took a bite, and boom. I instantly knew the bar had been raised. My mind had been flipped. It wasn't the fresh salsa, the fish, or the fresh lime that was picked off the tree next door. No, it was the tortilla. I mean, these things were crisp, yet malleable and flavorful. No breakage. I immediately grasped the package in search of the secret. Lo and behold, they are made exclusivo in Mulehe. Yes, Mulehe, where I am right now. So Lisa, <laughs> I think we have a mission. The search for the origin of the best dang tortilla, I've had the pleasure of biting it. Someone said it's a couple streets down. I'm still looking. Lead the way, senor. I think we found it. This is it. Let's check it out. Tortillas, me It was a secret operation in there. He didn't want us to film, but we got some tortillas calientes and some corn tortillas, and they had goat cheese. So I'm about to tear off a piece of this goat cheese, put it on a warm tortilla, because they're the best. That may have been one of the best combos I have tasted in a long time. Cheese is totally gone. I finished all the tortillas. Still have the corn ones, haven't tried those, but I'm gonna go in for more, get more cheese and fresh tortilla caliente. That's dynamite. That's why you travel, that's why you go different places. For this, everything is made better by this. In our next video, we get the best beach day in the Bay of Conception with our friends Shayna, Ross, and Vinny. You look awesome. We're in Mexico, buy tacos, make tacos, eat tacos.